Welcome everyone, back to Extreme Power No Handling and today we're dealing with the 2015 Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR. Now this has 875 horsepower, 706 pounds feet of torque from its 5.4 litre supercharged V8 weighing 5,109 pounds. Now that is 325 horsepower more from stock, 204 pounds feet of torque more from stock and it weighs 39 pounds less than it did originally which translates to a 0 to 60 time of 3.4 seconds and a 0 to 100 time of 7.192 seconds. So yeah, this is now ballistically fast and it hopefully has a chance of beating the uh, Porsche Cayenne which put in a time of 1 minute 22.405 which is the benchmark for SUVs as far as I'm concerned because that is the fastest SUV we've had and the Jeep Grand Wagoneer comes in slightly below it. So yeah, I'm hoping it beats either of them. So let's uh, see what it can do. Now this is one of the better handling uh, SUVs on the game, so if any car is going to beat that KN, it's going to be this one. Though I have yet to taken out that uh, Grand Cherokee yet, which is also one of the car that I think could beat that KN. But we'll uh, see what this car can do first. This car has, I think, more power than that KN, but it certainly has more power, uh, weight as well. That KN is one of the lighter SUVs on the game. But this car is certainly no slouch. Certainly prefer the V8 in this and the KN. smooth no real troubles at all so far the guys at SVR have really worked their magic on this Range Rover also forgot to mention that they actually worked on that uh, Project 7F type as well two great cars under their belt and I've never heard of them before. Well, that's a pretty solid time for a first lap but it is still at least four seconds off that KN. So we need to get, have some massive improvements. The sound of the V8 in this car, upgraded or otherwise. Oopsie daisy. Slightly went off road there. That's a pretty good uh, improvement, but again, we are still slightly off at KN. Just have to be so cautious with this car, because even though it is a good handling car and it does have solid brakes on it, you're still talking about more than 5,000 pounds and stopping it at a speed that. Granted, it's used to having to stop at, but with all that power going through those wheels, still using up all the grip and the traction. Those tyres to the test, just with the power, I don't want to push them when it comes to braking as well.
just off, less than a second off that KN, which is a big, big shame. But I have to admit that that car was really troublesome for E, quite frankly. That is easily one of the more smooth cars that we've taken around. So yeah, 1 minute 23.133, which puts us right below, yeah, just behind the Lamborghini Jalpa. Like so the Audi S1, the Toyota GT86 and the Jeep Grand Wagoneer and the KN Turbo. So yeah, still not a bad showing, it's still top 20 easily and quite frankly it's easily one of the uh, easiest cars to drive I've had on this series. So yeah, great, great car quite frankly, it just shows how good the stock car is that it can take all that power and uh, still not spin up the wheels, not really ever understeer. Uh, a couple of oversteering moments probably in there if you push it even harder than I did but I really can't see it being any more troublesome than it was for me so yeah smashing car and uh, yeah I highly recommend trying it out stock or otherwise anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one